Hello, my name is Jason. I'm here to demonstrate for you the PS plug and play system that we gray water diverter. This is a unit set up for demonstrations. This is what the unit would be like looking like at your home. As you can see, we have a locking lid on the top. It keeps critters and kids out of it when uh, not in use. Here you see uh, this is where the pump is for pumping it out to your irrigation. Your filters are down in here, your air blower for your back flush, your controller, your tube that goes out to your irrigation. This will connect to the gray water pipe on your home. This is where your gray water would come in. This is the overflow where it goes right back out to the sewer. So on our demonstration model, you can see that on our controller we have a solid red light. That is telling us that our gray water diverter is functioning and that no gray water is present at the moment and it's in standby mode waiting. When I take off the filter cover here, you'll look inside and you'll see this is like somebody taking a shower or using the sink in your home, gray water will start entering the device. Okay. As gray water enters, it goes down through the filter, filtering out the lint debris soap scum right into the pump chamber. If that filter were to ever clog up, we have a secondary filter where it would overflow right into that filter and do the same thing, run right into our pump chamber after being filtered. Now you see our unit, our controller is flashing. That's telling us there's gray water present and it's got a 35 second delay to allow a little bit more water to build up in the pump chamber here. After 35 seconds, the pump will kick on and that pushes the gray water right out the purple pipe out to your landscaper. So right now your landscape is being watered as you're taking your shower or using your sink. One of the keys to the gray flow system is that we don't store the gray water in a gray water tank. Gray water within 24 hours turns septic and becomes very nasty and very stinky. Um, also storing it in a tank leads to having to clean the tank, which is a very gross, stinky job. It will accumulate with uh, lint and slime and sludge. This unit is a demo unit, so it's set up to back flush every third cycle. The units that would be installed in your home would back flush every 20th cycle, which is approximately 100 gallons of gray water. If this pump were to ever stop working, the water would get up to about here and it would just naturally flow out the overflow. There's no chance of it ever overflowing the top of your pump chamber. Okay, that should be our last cycle. Now the back gets to turn. What happens is the pump is stopped so that the gray water is actually flooding the system. This is key because we want to flood and get this water over the top so that the water can move out to the sewer. It's injecting air below the filters, which at advanced wastewater systems we've discovered in our studies that it takes turbulence to clean the filters, not water or water pressure. Air turbulence that really breaks up the sludge and gets the lint and debris out. Thus you see the lint and debris would be floating to the top and all exiting out into your sewer right now. should be inspected every six months. That means open the lid and take a look for any signs of problems. Then change, not clean the filters every three to five years when the filter material may, be, may start to decompose. In Australia, this is known as the cleanest, most sanitary system, outlasting and performing all other systems for 10 years in Australia where gray water irrigation is common. Back flush goes on for two minutes. At that point, it'll return to waiting for your gray water uh, to be filtered and pumped right back out to the landscape. Thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this presentation of our Grayflow PS plug and play system.